Once again, we are targeting a splashdown off the uh, coast of Florida. Dragon Endurance coming closer and closer. And as you just saw, splashdown of Crew 5. 157 days in space. SpaceX Dragon splashdown. Names have been released. See the spacecraft coming down under those four main parachutes and even the drogue chutes as well. Oh, and a thumbs up there from Nicole <laughs> Mann and Josh Cassida. I imagine probably the same from Koichi Wakata and Ana Kikana. Uh, the primary decelerator for the Dragon capsule, that's really what helped slow the vehicle down, which once again it made its second splashdown. You can see her being helped uh, to those medical quarters. Again, all, all nominal, all uh, pre-planned checks. Once again, we are targeting a splashdown off the uh, coast of Florida uh, near Tampa. So this is uh, what we would consider a gulf landing. There we can see the water uh, surface. Dragon Endurance coming closer and closer. And as you just saw, splashdown of Crew 5. 157 days in space. SpaceX Dragon splashdown. Names have been released. I was able to see the spacecraft coming down under those four main parachutes and even the drogue chutes as well. Um, and the seas look pretty calm also. We have, oh, and a thumbs up there from Nicole <laughs> Mann and Josh Cassida. I imagine probably the same from Koichi Wakata and Ana Kikana. Dragon, brace for capsule lift. Dragon. And as the capsule is being lifted, there's our first view of that heat shield. Once again, that was the, uh, the primary decelerator for the Dragon capsule. That's really what helped slow the vehicle down. Of course, once these astronauts are helped out of the capsule, we'll see them uh, being placed likely on stretchers. Um, again, helping them regain their Earth legs. Durance, which once again it made its second splashdown. First Cosmos cosmonaut Anna Kikina, our final crew member to egress tonight. Again, her first space flight. And you can see her being helped uh, to those medical quarters. Again, all, all nominal, all uh, pre-planned checks. Um, it looked like, yeah, that looks like Koichi. Um, it looks like they were um, pulling from seat one. So yeah, that would have been Koichi's. But again, this is an autonomous flight like we've seen with Dragon uh, in the past. And our four crew members are riding comfortably, it appears. Their visors are still up. Um, once we get closer to that deorbit burn, we anticipate to hear a call from the core to the crew to go ahead and lower their visors just as a, a precautionary. Or go. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's another level. <laughs> so once Dragon began flying free yesterday, there were a number of additional checkpoints to either. Dragon copy. As you can see with that infrared view, we have two healthy drogue parachutes on Dragon. There's a view from Dragon looking up at the drogue chutes. Those will uh, remain attached to the spacecraft until they help deploy the main parachutes coming up in just a few moments. Again, these views coming to us from the... Main chute descent rate nominal. Dragon. Dragon Endurance. 200 meters, crew braced for splashdown. Copy, 200 and braced. Commander Nicole Mann giving out that call as we are standing by for splashdown off the coast of Tampa, Florida. There we can see the water uh, surface. Dragon Endurance coming closer and closer. And 
as you just saw, that SpaceX recovery team member that is climbing on board the Dragon capsule. Um, this is exactly what they have to do uh, in order. Dragon, brace for capsule lift. And as the capsule is being lifted, there's our first view of that heat shield. Once again, that was the uh, the primary decelerator for the Dragon capsule. That's really what helps slow the vehicle down uh, to about 350 miles per hour from 17,500, of course, during that uh, re-entry burn that we saw. Um, certainly did its job yeah <laughs> bringing them to that gentle splashdown uh, with the help of those parachutes about 16 miles per hour so they are they have obviously lifted dragon they are placing it in that nest uh, they'll secure it there and and remove some of those attachment points before moving it toward the egress platform mm -hmm. agency and this looks like it may be anna yeah, as I mentioned before, that slide, we have a great view of that slide now, really helps the crew um, in this egress procedure. Oh, this is probably Koichi, uh, judging by, I can see that Japanese flag on that team member right there on the right. It looked like, yeah, that looks like Koichi. Um, it looks like they were um, pulling from seat one, so yeah, that would have been Koichi's. Is about to make her way down the the fun slide and egress <laughs> dragon endurance which once again it made its second splashdown first cosmos cosmonaut anna kikina our final crew member to egress tonight again her first space flight to russia look at that smile as well <laughs>